sponsors of our event this year. They are very unique. Some of the hair you're going to see here is unlike anything you'll ever see in Northwest Ohio again, that's for sure. We decided that we wanted to make it an all local production this year and that's exactly what we did but it was the chamber who saw this show and said we should try this out in Northwest Ohio. In terms of the retailers and the salons, I'm fairly certain everyone here tonight bought something new and got their hair done. So from that standpoint, I think it's really put a lot of um, uh, business for the, the retailers and the salons for sure. But we really wanted to do some amazing hair because we had the salons involved and that's where kind of the couture came from. Uh, but we also really wanted to make it an all-local program and try and incorporate some of the um, some of the different local aspects that maybe don't get as much press. And we were thinking we could incorporate some dancing and maybe the ballet. And that's where the culture and couture came from. Also, for a first time this year, we created our own modeling company so that we could use all local models. All the models came out, they did casting calls out here at Levis Commons, right where we're gonna have the same event. And uh, from that, we narrowed it down to 100, then we narrowed it down to 20, and then we narrowed it down to two winners. And we're actually using 60 of the runway rivalry models in the entire event. A portion of the proceeds go to the Northwest Ohio Site Center, which is they, they do a lot of work for people who are visually impaired and blind. And uh, they've been such a gracious uh, and helpful charity this year. We're so pleased to have them. Mm -hmm.